All right, first things first, when you have your Apple Vision Pro headset on, you go to your MacBook Pro and you connect. And it's gonna bring up a large screen. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about how to sort through your photos using Adobe Bridge, and then maybe do some photo editing in Adobe Photoshop. So right now, as soon as you connect the Apple Vision Pro to a MacBook, you're gonna blow the screen up to a 4K display that you can resize anywhere you want in the spatial area. Seeing your photos in such a large scale format, I think it's gonna make a better experience and it's gonna help guide your decisions on if you have you know, photos that are sort of the same shot, it's gonna help you uh, decide which one to select so you're not editing multiple photos of the same ones, right? Um, the good thing is when somebody walks into the room as you're doing the work, you're able to, to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking through my photos right now. Um, I think it helps quite a bit to see your photos this large. And if you kind of look in there and you're using the mouse, you're using the keyboard from the Mac, so the gestures aren't something that you could do outside of just controlling the window that you're, you're using. Uh, so you, you are bound to the mouse and keyboard at this point. But it's still like an external monitor that you're using from the MacBook. And so I think it helps out quite a bit to see your photos scaled up this large. And you don't lose any quality, it's all sharp and crisp. So if you're sorting through photos that have some similar shots, it's easy to guide you to make those decisions for which photo you want to edit. All right, so we're gonna jump into some photo editing. I'm gonna bring one of these photographs into Adobe Photoshop and run a recipe on it. And I'm gonna switch over to the Vision Pro microphone. I'm going to bring this one in in camera raw. There's no gestures that work, no pinching. So you're, again, this is just a monitor, a large monitor and I can start making my edits. You know, I'm, I'm going to do a quick edit to see, you know, what that would look like. Usually I, I like to just shoot out of the camera without making too many edits. Maybe some subtle, subtle edits. It's going to open up in Photoshop. Man, Photoshop looks humongous on this one. So I got some recipes and I use Nick Collections to do some of the, the edits that I do. Some quick recipes to give it a specific look and then I go in there and edit it in black and white. It processes the image. This is pretty fun actually, you know. I don't know if I could edit for hours on this, but it definitely makes it easier for me to make my photo selections, edit one. You know, it's just, it's really fun to see it in this screen like this. And then you're editing. It's like editing in a theater. It's like, that's what it would feel like. You can hook up your MacBook to, you know, a, you know, an IMAX theater of some kind and just start editing your photos, which I think would be really cool. But only there's, it, there's a sharpness to it and you have control. Like, even if you wanted to kind of make arrangements as you're editing, you can do that. Like, I'm bringing it closer to me. So that's cool. That's a neutral recipe that I have and, you know, something more high contrast, which I normally love putting things at high contrast for my for my edits. Uh, of course, um, the Leica Q3 does have Leica photos and you can add these out of the camera into the JPEGs, but I like a little bit more control from my raw files and so I like the result of this. No, see which filter. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a little light. A little darker, you see the, I like that balance. And see how it goes. Nice. From camera to computer to Vision Pro to the edit process. And then, you know, because this is still in the MacBook Pro, you're just using the, the Vision Pro as a bridge to do your edits and this is just a screen essentially coming from this machine right the, the macbook you're still editing from the mac so so i opened up this the final result of the edit in uh preview on the mac but you know i'm sitting down right now i'm next to my macbook pro i'm seeing it on screen but what i can do and i didn't think about this until later is like all right i'm done with my edits 
uh, I can actually like walk up to the photo and you know I can't I can't pinch to zoom in this particular area because I'm not I'm only in preview and I'm still working off of the MacBook Pro so it's like I'm going up to the monitor so I can walk up to the image and like examine it you know like if it's on this huge wall like look and so you can really get up close and personal with your work I mean look this thing is almost the size probably of the actual whatever this is this this binocular thing so like if I wanted to go to Pinterest black and white photos so you know so let's say I had my inspiration these are my inspiration board pieces like oh, all right this is cool so you know you can have that your final result maybe some photos that you've shot but the whole point is that you're able to look at multiple screens and you're not just limited now this screen's always going to be uh, the screen that whatever you connected your MacBook Pro to is always going to be the screen that you know you can't really uh, you or you can't do any kind of gestures or or pinching right but these other screens you have more control uh, in in regards to what the Vision Pro can offer but the the screen that you're working because you're connected to your MacBook you're you're sort of stuck with the mouse and and keyboard there so right now I'm in my living room I have all these distractions but what you could do is you know you got to be careful though like if you have been in a New York apartment you have very little space but let's say you live somewhere with a whole bunch of space you could like there's too much distraction going on you could do this so I can walk up So I'm in my environment. There's a moon. There's a day star right here. Again, comparison. This is a huge image. So far, this is what the process looks like. Right now, it's fun. I can see this being a, a very useful tool if you have lots of photos to sort through. So uh, I'll export this show you the result stay tuned for more mm -hmm.